Okay, so good news, we're back. Take 58. Um, I figured out what the issue was, at least I think. I didn't try to restart it yet, but... I had a massive vacuum leak. Um, this giant hose that goes from the valve cover right to the intake, which is past the mass airflow, um, I had taken off. I forgot to use the original one off of here for my uh, blue car. Process, I was checking fuel pressure. She has 40 to 50 pounds. She's good on fuel. I'm pretty sure it was that there was a massive early pass of mass airflow that was just simply choking it out. So, we're going to try it again. Now, my plan is, if it fires up good and runs, I'm going to quick come back out, disconnect all this stuff, and try and pull it out of the garage so it doesn't smoke the garage out or out of the shop, whatever. Um, but, we'll see if it even does. So, here's to another attempt. Hopefully this time... She actually fire up. Okay, better. A lot better. Um, still kind of surprised she didn't want to just fire up and run. Yeah, still. Okay, I don't know. Had that big ass fucking vacuum leak. I thought that would have for sure have uh, did it. It's got good fuel pressure, so I'm not really sure. I don't see any other vacuum leaks anywhere. Um, only other guess is if because I have oil packed in this, is if it's getting it into the cylinders and fucking. But I don't know why though, because it runs off ether just fine. Um, unless. Because also the uh, fuel pressure regulator wires, I had to rewire all this shit in because somebody freaking destroyed them. So, same with this shit. I tried to get it the best I could. So, I'm not really sure. Um, somebody pricked the mass airflow on there too, it looks like. Um, I guess we'll take this back off and maybe see if uh, it's just lack of air. Because, uh, yeah, so far everything I see is... Uh, completely sealed up so I don't know I thought for sure she would have fired up and been good I guess I'll try it again if it don't work this time I'm just gonna call it good and just go to bed because it's late I'm tired come on baby you know you want to start <laughs> I'm there to guess if the injectors are full of crap or the fuel filter's full of crap. Otherwise, uh, well, no, because the, the fuel pump, the, the filter would have to be okay because it's got good fuel pressure, so it's got to be injectors, and it's got to be clogging injectors. Maybe I'll get my scan tool out and see what uh, she says because I'd like this thing to run at some point. It's got only fresh gas. I mean, she starts to run good when she does want to run. It's just... I don't know, man. I just, uh... Don't know. So that was floored, and uh, she didn't like that too much. But even though, man, I thought for sure it would have been the vacuum leak issue. That that would have, that would have been why it didn't want to start. does smell very, very poorly bad, though. This thing fucking blows out a ton of smoke. If anything, I'll stop right now. I'll, I'll stop tonight. Drain the oil out of it. Throw in five fresh quarts and see if it's having not an abundance of oil. This thing will make it run. Just weird the hot runs off ether just fine, though. It just won't, uh, won't kick off. Well, I mean, it kicks, but won't stay running off the, uh, off of this. <laughs> Yeah, 
don't know. I don't fucking know. I can't figure it out right now. I'm too tired to worry about it anyway. All I know is that, uh, all our field pressure went down to 19. So maybe, maybe it can't hold field pressure when it runs. Maybe, you know what? Fuck, I wish I had set my camera up right here to check that. I wonder if that pump just can't keep up with, uh, everything else here. Now I'm going to try and take the power probe to it and try and crank it over. Um, I'll get back to you guys.